were responding to an anhydrous spill. Um, we got on scene. Um, I evacuated the farmer that was right there, which is a low-lying area. And once then we were uh, starting to leave the scene, uh, got caught up in the fog, couldn't see the road. The apparatus, uh, I missed the corner, the apparatus dropped the wheel into a ditch. And we were about to exit, and prior to exiting, I took one great big breath, and knowing that the product that was out there could be really bad, so I took that one big breath and held it for as long as I could while walking away from the fog. While I was walking, I ran out of breath, um, and had to breathe and knowing that if I would have exhaled completely that there was no way that I was going to get any type of breath back into myself so just doing a very short quick breaths really really helped me get through that um, because if I would have completely exhaled the breath that I would have taken in would have been very very short and there's no way that I could have continued if I would have done that. And how does money is a dangerous product? I mean, if uh, you happen to, would happen to get sprayed or, uh, you know, you take a shot of an hydrous ammonia on your, on your body, the, it is a poison gas. It will eat away at your skin. First and foremost, PPE is, uh, is your first line of defense, making sure we're wearing the proper goggles. Non-vented goggles um, are the best, so the vapors do not get in any, any way within the goggles and, and get your eyeballs. Uh, rubber butyl gloves, make sure we're in that, that are cuffed over. Make sure we're wearing long sleeves, and uh, I'll be honest with you, I do highly, highly rec recommend wearing a respirator when dealing with anhydrous ammonia. The EMTs uh, did a great job. They resorted right away to their training. Uh, they knew right away to contact emergency, and they got all the information they needed to from emergency to help us. And immediately getting the clothing off was something I would have never thought about. And then flushing the eyes and the, and the mouth as soon as possible really helped too. It was great. They did a great job. In case of a exposure, make sure you do have water um, supply on hand. You know, whether it's a, a tank at the risers as we're filling them at our locations, we'll have at least 150 gallons of water at our location in case someone does get uh, splattered with that. They can just go ahead and jump in the water and, uh, and get that hydrous removed from you. Uh, if you're out in the, the farm field, there's a five gallon uh, water jacket on each nurse tank that is filled with water that in case you get splattered with it you can use that to, to uh, you know help you remove the anhydrous from your body. If you do get it on yourself it's going to seek moisture whether it's your eyeballs whether it's uh, in your lungs whether it's you know your armpits it's going to go seek moisture. Um, to prevent that you know, obviously wear the proper PPE to protect your eyeballs make sure when we're, we're goggles uh, make sure you're not wearing contact lenses. If you're wearing contact lenses and you happen to get anhydrous money in your eyes the contacts will adhere to your eyeballs. Along with the PPE, make sure that uh, you stay upwind. Uh, anytime you're, you're around or dealing with anhydrous ammonia, whether you're transporting it, uh, you're filling it, nurse tanks, or you're actually hooking up to an applicator, make sure you stay upwind. Now, when, when transporting anhydrous ammonia, you know, the driver knows that is a hazardous material. Okay, so they, they're not allowed to go faster than 25 miles an hour down the highway or on the gravel road. Uh, so when they transport it, they're taking all every extreme uh, caution that they can. Anyone driving behind or, or driving uh, around a, an applicator or a nurse tank or even you know a tractor pulling a nurse tank and, and an applicator down the highway, give them give them space, you know, give them space and then uh, be able to get around them as you know as safely as possible. If you see an accident with a nurse tank as you're driving down the highway or on a country road um, and you see a cloud, do not drive through the cloud. Do not drive through the cloud. Turn around, go the other way. Um, if you try and go through that cloud, more than likely uh, you will not come out from the other side. So do not go through that cloud if you see that on a rural roadway or on the highway. If I would have completely ran out of breath, I don't know if I'd be standing here today. I really don't because that fog was so heavy. I'm surprised that all three of us, and I'm thankful all three of us did walk away from that. If that stuff leaks just enough, you're going to be a hurting unit and if you try to reconnect the disconnect coupler you're going to be in a world of hurt it's going to fry you big time i mean that stuff is terrible terrible bad eventually it does go away so stay away <laughs>